What's going on reef builders? I am Jake Adams. Welcome back to another video from the Reef Builder Studio. I have just returned from a two day kamikaze mission to Orlando, Florida to go visit my good friends over at Worldwide Corals, got myself some new merch, got myself some new frags, and uh, simply put, I didn't know what I thought was going to happen in just, uh, you know, two days, but I was absolutely astounded by what they've accomplished since the grand opening of the Worldwide Coral Superstore um, almost exactly a year ago. So if you haven't seen that video, make sure to go back and watch it because when you see my update of the Superstore, some of the displays, the farm in the back. I actually get into the Lagoon Aquarium and the boutique shop. Uh, I, I think you will be really, really impressed. You know, usually I, I go to Worldwide Corals and I am entertained and I have fun, like looking at uh, the different corals and the displays and talking shop with the guys. But this time I actually really imprinted um, some new tips uh, and techniques because what they've accomplished in one year, I don't think they're even aware of it because it, you know they're all up in it. Um, but I'm very excited to share with you some of the things that um, really uh, made an impression on me and some of the things I'm gonna be applying here at uh, the Reef Builder Studio. So I, uh, you know, spent a couple days just kind of uh, window shopping the corals that spoke to me the most and picked out about 20 that uh, I thought that I wanted to bring home the most. So uh, uh, we got my box of corals here ready to go. I've got a frag receiving tank right here. And uh, this is just a little extra ketomorpha that I harvested from the uh, my spitting ketomorpha reactor that I shared a few videos ago. So make sure to subscribe so you don't miss the updates that are coming because this is going to be probably some of my uh, most uh, high caliber coral aquarium content uh, for the rest of the year. And uh, yeah, without further ado, let's jump into it. and uh, just kind of had them on airstone for about an hour. This is no yellow filter whatsoever. And um, I think we'll just, uh, we'll start from the right here and go to the left. This is probably one of my favorites. Um, you know, Duncan is a highly conservative coral. Kind of looks the same almost all the time. This is one that caught my attention from 10 feet away when I was looking in the mangrove uh, lagoon tank, right when you walk into the shop. It's got a nice bright green oral disc surrounded by a dark, uh, kind of darker tissue. This is a branching green frog spawn, nice classic frog spawn. I have a lot of feelers, but not nearly enough, not nearly enough um, uh, frog spawns. Lots of euphilias, not frog spawns. So here's two gold torch corals and they're not, you know, yet uh, blooming per se. Uh, the one on the left has a little bit of the uh, kind of the green interior. This one has a little bit more of the gold interior, sorry, uh, brown interior. So, you know, in the one sense, this one right here has more coloration, but because this one has a darker background, it pops a lot more. And that's one that I enjoyed at the shop. 
Um, this is kind of uh, one of the ocean colored, ocean green uh, style offers. I'm a big fan of the Pasalaporidae. So that one is gonna be a fun coral. This is, to me, this is a classic. I don't even know what it's named. I, I bought colonies of this back in the day. Just kind of a nice pink ring with a green mouth. Um, really a show-stopping zoanthid when you get it super happy. There's three different acros right here. Uh, these two were picked out by Josh. I don't exactly remember what they were, but this is one that I specifically asked for with a lot, a lot of uh, super fuzzy tentacles. So these are gonna go in my uh, flagship reef aquarium. Um, we're gonna do this guy last, but here is a nice pink base, green polyp, Poslapora. Um, I'm, again, like I just said, I'm a big fan of the Poslapora Day, so that's going to go in a big cluster. Um, this is a gnarly little uh, soft coral that has uh, bright green polyps when it comes out, when the polyps come out, and uh, it kind of has a dark base. This might be a Dompia. I'm not sure if this is a variety of cabbage leather, but we'll have to see when it opens up fully. And then got a nice uh, UFO style Bauer Banky single head. So this is just red with a black ring. Yummy, yummy, yummy. A thin branching uh, Blastomusia Merletti. And then this other one that really caught my attention because it has like a little bit of striping to the polyps. Uh, these are what we would call maybe like um, uh, Asian style uh, Micromusa Lords. Um, so they're not the retina bleeding, retina burning uh, style uh, micromooses, but still very fun. Um, this one, I like how the, the stripes are a little bit more diffused, uh, the red dashes there around the polyps, and this one's got stripes right around the, the like, as, like a ring around the colony. And when it opens up fully, it's just, it's really an awesome coral. Um, this Blastomusa wells I, I love this one because it has kind of a black interior to it. Um, this one right here. This is a coral that I actually complained when they sent it to me because the one I got was gray and kind of reddish, uh, reddish rim when I first got it. But apparently when you put it in low light, it's almost like a, an orange, kind of a small coralite, orange war coral with uh, bright green mouths. And, um, and then this guy right here is a grafted Montipora digitata. If I'm not mistaken, this is actually a green digitata with red pigment that is uh, kind of spreading throughout it. And I'm gonna take Josh's advice and kind of uh, cut off that nub there on top and just glue it right behind it to get the best chance for the most coloration. And I believe this is a Lobophilia Robusta, um, almost kind of tricolor style, kind of red, deep red with a maroon interior and kind of a gold ring. So this is gonna be a fun coral. Uh, Victor told me they worked on that one for a long time to kind of get it back into health. So I have a lot of fun corals to work with and uh, now I'm gonna get him to take. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed following along with this unboxing video of frags that I personally selected from Worldwide Corals, as well as some of the preview clips from uh, what you can expect in the upcoming videos um, that I'm gonna put out uh, from Worldwide Corals between now and the end of the year for uh, kind of a nice condensed Worldwide Corals uh, series of videos. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like. If you wanna make sure not to miss any future videos, go ahead and subscribe, hit that notification bell. If you have any questions about what I've showed off or what I've discussed or what's coming up, make sure to put those down in the comments below. You guys know that I am in those comments, reading them, answering them, engaging with you guys. Um, so thank you so much for joining me on this video and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Later.